everyone this is Dimesh welcome back to my channel today we are going to flip the discussion from my previous video which I did months ago about what North Indians think about South Indian movies and why to what South Indians think about Bollywood and why now this is going to cover a wide variety of things obviously all these opinions are based on my friends my family friends my Twitter followers and friends my YouTube followers and friends and everyone that I know and obviously South India has four different Indian industries Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam and Kannada all of them will have their own nuanced view of Bollywood but here we are going to sort of summarize what everyone generally thinks so without wasting much time let us get right into it the first thing I want to talk about is the film industry's opinion itself um, the people who are part of the South Indian film industry and actively work in the film industry a lot of them find Bollywood very aspirational this is because of the huge reach that Bollywood has you know it's uncomparable in India that you know the number of people that watch Bollywood Hindi language movies in India because of the general population divide and spread as well as all overseas the number of people that have attention to Bollywood and the whole branding of Bollywood over the years to be the main film industry gives it a much wider audience it gives it a much huger platform so all the filmmakers and actors have this huge aspiration to be part of Bollywood so that they can tell their stories and sort of present their talent to the widest variety of audiences this includes actors from years and years and decades and decades ago uh, that have come and tried their hand at Bollywood as well as recent time directors some examples include Tamil actors like Kamal Hassan, Rajni Khan, Malayalam actors like Mohanlal and the recent Dulkar Salman who's actually doing pretty well some Telugu actors like Chiranjeevi from the past uh, Aldo Arjun who wants to do a film in Hindi Ram Charan who's Chiranjeevi's son who wanted who did a movie Rana Dagubatti who's trying to balance it out very well Kannada film industry we have Kitcha Sudeep who's also been part of Bollywood along with all the other industries so there are all these people that have tried their hand on the acting front directors we've seen recently that Rajamoli who made Bahubali has obviously dubbed it in Hindi to get that audience and that is what drove the success of Bahubali to the greatest of heights the fact that it was dubbed in Hindi and delivered in sort of to the Hindi speaking audiences so that is what made it such a huge success keeping that in mind there are several other remakes and so those directors also come and remake their movies with the stars here such as A.R. Murgodas, Prabhu Deva the list goes on and on and it is still something that they want to be a part of so that's the good thing you know these filmmakers also feel and look up to Bollywood and the power it has and they want to be a part of it that being said let's go on to the second good part about what South Indians think about Bollywood and why and I think one of the things that I've noticed is that they have a very fair approach most of them let's say 50 to 60 percent which is a little above the half mark definitely approach Bollywood Bollywood content and films with a very very fair approach just like they treat their regional cinema although we think they are crazy fanatics about their films their super stars and they blindly support their films that is not exactly true if you dive deep they also have a very objective view about their own films and therefore they apply that to Bollywood as well for them they are very open to watching Bollywood movies whether it's in big cities such as Bangalore Hyderabad Chennai Kochi uh, wherever it is and they like to call a spade a spade so if a movie is successful and good they will appreciate it if an, a performance is good they will appreciate it if a movie doesn't do well but still has the right content they will appreciate it and if a actor who's not doing very well is generally a talent they will appreciate it um, so with that being said let's get on to some of the bigger issues that they have with Bollywood the first thing that they always kind of say is that compared to their films and compared to the real worlds as to so to speak Bollywood has this very big sort of glamorous approach to filmmaking it's not that realistic and this again is not based on the current scenario of Ayushman Kurana Raj Kumar Rao, Nawazuddin Siddiqui, all these new age people. It's based on all the previous stories that we have seen. This over the top approach of love, romance, rich people, rich people's stories, glamorous people, great costumes, good looking people. The fact that everyone needs to have a six pack or a good face, a good body, you know, beautiful actresses that are sort of, you know, matching up to the international level of beauty. All these sort of standards were set into place somewhere in that big, big sort of time period of Bollywood and that for them makes it very 
unrealistic and difficult to watch because their films deal with the raw reality and as well as a slice of life sort of approach. They don't need glamorous actors that have six packs, that have all these perfect looks. They don't need to watch stories of beautiful people. They don't need rich people in every movie wearing amazing clothes to sort of drive the fashion sense in their sort of region. All they want is good films, good scripts, stories that tell the raw reality, stories that are slice of life, stories that stick to what they aim to achieve. Um, South Indians also think that Bollywood is a remake wood because so many of the the big hits and so many of the films from South India are remade into Bollywood. There is no denying this because we all know that South remakes are something that always work in Bollywood and have been working. You know, whether it's Salman Khan's Wanted that gave him a career transformation and made him this superstar or Ajay Devgan Singham that gave him a brand identity like never before. Going back into the days of Sunil Shetty, going back into the days of all these actors, you'll see that even in the 90s, this is not a recent trend. Even even in the 90s, there were many films that were remade. Hera Ferry was a remake, Hulchal was a remake. Some Sunil Shetty movies that I've looked up were remake of Mamuti movies. There were many such instances where South Indian films have constantly been remade into Bollywood. So here's the problem. And here's why this is confusing for them because if South Indians, first of all, have a language barrier, they like, you know, they either enjoy films in their own language. Once they enjoy those films, they have to now look at other films that are not in their language. When they have to look at other films that they're not in their language, they're not going to look at the flops, which Bollywood audience has said that this is a flop. They're not going to watch those. From the remaining hits that remain, if half of those are remakes of South Indian films, what do they really have to watch? So the bigger issue for them is after all these filters, we barely have any films to watch. And those films, you know, they're going to give their fair response to it, whether it's good or not, etc. But to them, it just turns out that at the end of the day, Bollywood is, you know, some sort of a remake would. They always copy English films, their own regional films. So there's really nothing unique and creative to watch. Now, again, this opinion has been changing over the recent years because of the great content that's coming out, especially on the OTT platforms, you know, series like Sacred Games, Asur. These are all good shows that are coming out. Some good movies from independent filmmakers and new age talent like Aishman Kurana, Rajkumar Rao, Nawazuddin Siddhi. Diki, so many others are putting out some good content with good collaborations that is actually making them enjoy those movies as well. But you know, the opinions are ever transforming. However, some stereotypes continue to remain. Um, and so that brings me to the last point. We have this sense that it is not fair that Bollywood is the big daddy. The, it's not fair that Indian film industry with all its regions from the North, East, West, South are basically unified and viewed as Bollywood. It takes away their opportunity to stage their movies, their talent to be recognized. It also takes away many of the opportunities for awards or recognition such as the National Award. Um, there have been cases where people think that a lot of the times, for example, Amitabh Bachchan or someone from Bollywood got the National Award, whereas there was an equally, if not better, brilliant performance by some of these regional films. They think that all these movies that are going to the Oscars, why is it always sort of Bollywood mainly as the contender, whereas there were so many great films nationwide that could have made it. Um, so that's kind of weird why people focus on Bollywood and choose Bollywood and you know push Bollywood to be the identity. I think that it's an Indian film industry and everyone should have the opportunity equally. They think the same. They think that their voices are not heard enough. They think their films are not recognized enough. Their talent is not recognized enough. Then when the South Indian filmmakers as well as actors come into Bollywood, there there is some sort of friction. You know, there there is some sort of bias. Some point or the other, everyone faces this sort of friction, a sort of dead end, which is very difficult. I'll give you the most recent example from Lakshmi Bomb. The director was Raghav Lawrence, who's a Tamil filmmaker, who's made a film series on this uh, horror a comedy uh, which is called Kanchana and it has three or four parts to it and the first part is being remade as Lakshmi Bomb with Akshay Kumar that justifies one of their thinking of the fact that it's remake wood because they are still happening it also justifies one of the discussions that I just had about directors being aspirational and coming and making their films again um, that being said when he started this project and started getting into it someone released some poster with Akshay Kumar or maybe Akshay Kumar released it on Twitter and nobody asked the director for 
permission nobody considered his opinion nobody considered his design someone was just excited in the team and with akshay kumar and company they released this sort of first look of lakshmi bomb and raghav lawrence had to step out and be like i'm not being respected i'm not getting the right you know say opinion they are not respecting me as the main director and concept creator of this film he had to walk out um similarly i think with manikarnika the director krish who's a south indian director had to walk out halfway through cuz everyone was bossing over his opinions and things like that this is something that's happening so recently so at the same time you know they think that this is not fair because even if we are trying to be part of your industry and helping you guys out by remaking our films with you we are trying to act in your films we are trying to give you our stories and concept or our talent and trying to showcase it even if it's independently without any of your help they feel there's a big friction a big wall and that is not fair and that ties into the fact that if they don't do that and they are stuck in their own industries their industries are not even considered for any sort of recognition awards oscars even platforming those films in a good way in hindi dub versions so that is you know some of the major sort of opinions that south indians have about bollywood and how things work and it is kind of sad to see that even recently with lakshmi bomb and such other stories we have to constantly hear the same thing years over years even after the mega success of bahubali and all the great work and the great content that they have we definitely remake the films in bollywood and you know do what we need to do with them but we still don't sort of allow them to grow and i hope that that changes because i think you know all the talents coming together needs to be you know needs to happen if india needs to sort of progress as a film industry get all the creative ideas together get those big budgets together if a budget of 100 crore is something that is passed by bollywood let's say for a sanjali la bansali film then imagine five industries coming together the budget would be like 400 500 crores and with 400 500 crores we got a movie like bahubali and it 400 500 crores is what dc marvel and all these big companies and hollywood spend if you convert their budget to make movies so when we are competing with hollywood we are not even competing with 1/10 of the budget and we're trying to make films here individually with all our own regions and all our own issues and problems or limited budgets if we all come together it's just going to be next level so to speak so hopefully you know that's something that happens i think that more and more exposure on ott platforms especially with the lockdown of people are watching content from everywhere nobody really cares anymore <laughs> what we just want content you know we don't care where it comes out from and all the dubbing that happens on ott that gives you options of five different languages to watch a content that let's say came out of bollywood is kind of helping instead of hurting the situation in some way so hopefully you know going into 2021 we see more better collaborations energetic collaborations happy endings uh, good sort of stories instead of these sort of fights and rivalries and stuff like that but i hope you enjoyed this video of what south indians think about north indian movies or sort of bollywood primarily and leave your comments below if you have additional opinions if you want to counter the opinions if you want to leave your own opinions of what you think is the sort of polarized opinions that we have going on in the country and what should be the path forward i look forward to reading all your comments like this video comment share subscribe and do not forget to keep watching for much much more